The Ox and the Frog. Two little frogs were playing about at the edge of a pool when an ox came down to the water to drink, and by accident trod on one of them and crushed him. When the old frog missed him, she asked his brother where he was. His dead mother," said the little frog. "An enormous creature with four legs came to our pool this morning, and trampled him down in the mud. Enormous, was he? Was he as big as this?" said frog, puffing herself out to look as big as possible. "Oh yes, yes, mother, much bigger," said the little frog. And yet again, she puffed and puffed herself out till she was almost as round as a ball. She is mother to puff yourself out," said the little frog. "And do not be angry, for you would sooner burst than successfully imitate the hugeness of that creature." Ox, the adult male of domestic cattle, it is used as work animal or for beef. Tread. To step down heavily, trample. The dog trod down the flowers and broke their stems. Crush. To squeeze very hard. When you crush something, it is broken, put out of shape, or hurt in some way. We have a machine that crushes ice into small bits. The garbage can was crushed when the truck can run over it. Enormous. Much greater than the usual size or amount, very large. Some dinosaurs were enormous. The flood caused an enormous amount of damage. Trample, to step on heavily and crush. Do not trample the new grass. Puff, a short, sudden blast of air, breath, smoke, or something like this. A puff of wind rippled the pond. A puff of smoke came out of the chimney. Anything soft, round, and fluffy. Mother, give me a big pink powder puff. Cease to stop. The rain ceased in the afternoon. Burst to break open suddenly. The balloon burst when I stuck it with a pin. The buds on the roses were ready to burst into bloom. The ox and the frog. Two little frogs were playing about at the edge of a pool when an ox came down to the water to drink, and by accident trod on one of them and crushed him. When the old frog missed him, she asked his brother where he was. His dead mother," said the little frog. "An enormous creature with four legs came to our pool this morning." And trampled him down in the mud. Enormous, was he? Was he as big as this? Said Frog, puffing herself out to look as big as possible. Oh yes, yes, mother, much bigger. Said the little frog. And yet again, she puffed and puffed herself out till she was almost as round as a ball. She is mother to puff yourself out. Said the little frog. And do not be angry, for you would sooner burst than successfully imitate the hugeness of that creature. From this fable, we've learned the one truth: self-conceit may lead to self-destruction. Hi, this is Henry. Hoping you like and enjoy my work. I'm thankful for your subscription, and I keep working very hard for my audience. Thank you.